My dear subscribers and friends, I have been asked on numerous occasions if I can make an arcade stick tutorial. I actually made a similar video a couple of years ago. I think it was at least a year ago. I made a video where I showed uh, uh, demonstrated movement. It was basically a movement tutorial, but I showed the basic inputs on an arcade stick. And I thought I could actually make a new one as uh, my produ <laughs> the production values on my videos has gone up and I know more about the game today on arcade sticks. So uh, I'm going to give it a shot now. So I will start, I have a new stick uh, as you've probably, if you've seen my latest videos you know that I have a new stick. I, uh, this one, it's on Hori Real Arcade Pro version 3 SA Kai. Um, I love this stick, it's fantastic. Uh, I used to play on a Mad Cats. I played on a Mad Cats uh, tournament edition stick the last few years, but I broke it as I broke my old Korean stick by doing massive electrics, a lot of them, and this button just gave up. Uh, of course, you can switch the buttons and stuff, but it was time to get a new stick anyway. And now I went back to Hori and I couldn't be happier. This is an amazing stick. And I guess I pre think probably that this is an 8-gate stick, I think it's called, and uh, an octagon, and uh, the old uh, Mad Cats was a 4-gate. Um, I just immediately noticed that this stick was much more fluent when it comes to regi registering uh, inputs. So this is a fantastic stick, I can recommend it highly. So. Uh, let's give this a shot. Uh, I'm going to tell you straight away that I'm sitting in an extremely uncomfortable position. I'm, my ass is far away over here, <laughs> far away from the stick. So I'm leaning over like a mongoloid, like Quasimodo while raping his gypsy girlfriend. I think she's a gypsy, it was a long time since I've seen the, the Disney movie. Um, okay. So uh, let's go. I'm devil in here. I can wave dash. Great. I can Korean back dash. Let's go. Okay, so I'm playing from player two. So how do we tap forward? We tap with our thumb like this. Nothing more to it. If we want to duck, uh, crouch, uh, crouch uh, guard, we hold down back with all of these fingers here. Not the thumb, but these fingers. You hook, hook down. Um, down, you, I tap with uh, these two fingers here. Well, this one is uh, grounded here, as you see, holding up the hand. And then we have uh, down forward, we hook again with everything, like this. All the fingers, hold. Uh, back, uh, I hit like this. Yeah, I'm sorry for not taking them in exact order, but whatever. Uh, back, you just hit with your whole hand. And this is a big contrast uh, compared to forward, you know, as we did with only the thumb. And then you have the whole hand uh, for player one going like this. One of the reasons why it's much harder to play on player one. You've probably heard this, it's common knowledge, that playing, playing on player one on a stick that way, oh fuck, that way, is harder than playing on player two. It's, it's, it's a more natural motion where you get to use both your thumb and all of these fingers. Whereas on player one, you're doing most of the work with your wrist. So uh, we have up forward, which I I use my thumb and all of your fingers like this. I pretty much grab the stick and pull it like this. Up, tap with the thumb. And up back, I once again grab the stick and pull it with all of the fingers like this, like that. You do the duck, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, he's sucking the stick. It's a queer duck. My god, run for your life. Um, okay, so those were the basic inputs. Um, now we're going to, I'm at least going to show you a crouch dash motion. So here on player two, as I showed you before, you tap like this, tap with the thumb, and then you use all these fingers and you pull down and then slide it into. Uh, down forward so it's bam 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 like that bam 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 there's nothing more to it quickly it looks like this quite technical but if you you I hope you've seen my movement guide there you get tips on how to do the wave dash but so yeah like that 
nothing more to it. Bam, down with these fingers, down. And then you see I hook them, like that. Let's go to player one. Yeah, doing good. Okay, so player one, as I showed you before, tap with the whole hand like this, bam, bam. And then, this is the big difference, the, uh, as I talked about before. You know, on player two, uh, as you saw the crouch dash just now, you actually have a coordination, a coordinated, um, yeah, pretty much a, a teamwork um, effort. You know, you have a thumb doing one part of emotion and the second part of emotion uh, with the rest of the fingers. This is extremely natural and helps a lot. Whereas on player one, you, you won't be using your thumb. Every part of this motion has to be done with your, your hand and a lot of it will be done with the wrist. As you see on um, when the wave dashing on player 2, your hand is basically very, very still. Everything is done with the fingers. But on player 1, as we don't have a thumb, you see my wrist rotates a lot like this. It's because you have to compensate, you know. Every part of the motion is done with uh, the, the whole hand. Um, so, okay, how do we do it? Forward, and then you hold the stick actually, pull it down and down like this. So it, it looks like this. It looks like I'm just hugging the stick, but it's forward, hug it down, pull it into the down forward. So when you see multiple in a row, it looks like I'm just o opening and closing my hand like this. But it's just because I'm doing this quickly. It's, it's one long hold. Forward, hold, down, and ram it forward. So while it looks like I'm doing something else, just opening and closing like this, I am pulling it down and, and into the down forward. You'll have to excuse me, I, I'm sitting in a very crappy position, it's really hard to wave dash. But uh, yeah, I, I think you get it now, hopefully. Um, I don't really feel like I have to show you anything else because this is the basics of movement, you know. You have the sidewalk, but that's just quickly tapping like this. As I showed you before, the basic inputs. Um, so, um, yeah, this is just a quick guide. I'm, I'm sorry I was late with this. Uh, there was a Greek player who asked for a video like this months ago. I'm, I'm really sorry it came out so late and I'm sorry the gin guide is taking so long but I have things to do in my life besides uh, playing Tekken and I, I've had a lot of videos, a lot of videos in my pipeline that I wanted to finish before making this video. But I, I am genu genuinely sorry about that. Um, I hope you guys are happy anyway with this video. Um, and let you keep enjoying my videos. Um, so yeah, take care guys.